rollovers, rear ends, red light runners, and runaway trailers? We've got 20 of your dash cam stories in this episode, and stay until the end for details about the live premiere of the first episode of Wham Bam Security Cam. Today's first submitter was following a tractor which had slowed traffic from 55 to 25 miles per hour. The driver of an SUV in line behind him didn't like that and decided to floor it past everybody, ignoring the double yellow lines. He also ignored the turn signal of a pickup truck that was turning left, which clipped the SUV and sent it tumbling down the road. Our submitter stopped to render aid, but he told us there were no obvious injuries. When first responders arrived, he gave a statement to the police. I'm not sure where the SUV driver was headed so quickly, but I'm guessing they arrived later than they would have if they'd been a little more patient. This submitter was headed to his brother's house. Another driver turned across four lanes of traffic and into the path of our submitter's Jeep, causing 22,000 US dollars in damage. The Jeep had to be towed away, but the other vehicle was still drivable. Amazingly, the other driver blamed our submitter for the fact that she'd pulled in front of him while he was moving at 55 miles per hour. Unsurprisingly, the police found her at fault and her insurance provider paid for repairs and a rental. Michael was on his commute to work when he watched another driver lose control on black ice. The black car swerved several times before ending up in the ditch. Michael told us he kept going to work when he saw the driver behind him stopping to help. Alex was headed home from church when traffic on the interstate slowed down. Unfortunately, the driver of a Chevy Equinox wasn't paying attention and rear-ended a silver Mercedes. Thankfully, Alex avoided being hit by any debris. He pulled over to render aid to the elderly couple in the SUV as well as the young man in the Mercedes until first responders arrived. Alex told us the Wham Bam channels inspired him to get a dash cam and he's watched nearly every episode of both Tesla Cam and Dash Cam. Thanks Alex, we're glad you're satisfied. Adam was headed to Taco Bell after playing volleyball with friends. While waiting at a red light in his Ford Fusion, a Mustang pulled up next to him and the driver asked him if he wanted to race. Not really. <laughs> when the light turned green, the Mustang driver peeled out anyway. Oh, listen to that. Unfortunately for him, he hadn't noticed the police SUV in the oncoming lanes. The cop sure noticed him, and they quickly made a U-turn and took off after the speeding steed to serve the driver with some instant justice. Sometimes the cops are the ones who need driving lessons, as our next emitter discovered. Trevor was leaving an auto shop after getting his trailer fixed. While he was waiting to turn onto the road, a trooper from the Ohio State Highway Patrol's Motor Carrier Enforcement Unit almost struck him head on. Trevor called the State Highway Patrol and reported the incident, including the unit number when he made the report. Kennedy was headed home when he watched the driver of a black car proceed through a stop sign even though a white pickup truck had the right of way. Kennedy stopped to make sure everyone was okay and clear debris from the road. He snapped these photos while waiting for first responders to arrive. Simon was headed home from work when he suddenly encountered a metal toolbox and a gas can in the middle of the road. By the time Simon saw the items, it was too late for him to avoid running them over. Once he did, he lost control and drove off the road. Thankfully, no damage was done to his Ford Explorer. Josh was driving his Freightliner semi-truck when the driver of a Toyota SUV began merging in front of him. Josh estimates the Toyota was going about 35 miles per hour when it began merging and Josh immediately sounded his air horn. When he slammed on the brakes, it caused the rear axle to release from its locked position. 
Getting the axle put back into place required a tow truck with a winch and cost Josh 500 US dollars. Of course, the SUV driver just took off. Josh told us he's retiring this year after 20 years of driving and he really wants to maintain his spotless record. Zaza was driving to see a friend when the traffic in front of her on the highway came to a sudden stop. She had plenty of space to decelerate safely, but the driver following her didn't. When Zaza and the other driver got out to assess the damage, he told her the collision was her fault because she'd slowed down too fast. He refused to provide his insurance information, so she quickly took a picture of his car. It's a good thing she did because he fled before the police had time to respond to the scene. Zaza later found out the reason he wouldn't give her his insurance information. He didn't have any. Thankfully, after she hired a lawyer, her own insurance provider paid for the repairs and her medical bills, as well as for the time she wasn't able to work. She told us she loves the Tesla Cam channel and she'd get a Tesla herself. If she didn't love her truck so much, thanks Zaza. This submitter was driving behind a school bus that kept stopping to drop kids off. The driver of the SUV behind him evidently got impatient before crossing into the oncoming lane and forcing traffic off the road so they could pass. Our submitter considered sending this footage to the police, but he hasn't decided if he will yet. What do you think he should do? Jonathan was leaving work when the driver of a smart car blew through a yield sign. The smart car nearly sideswiped Jonathan's Ford Expedition, stopping at the same time he did to avoid a collision. He told us this turn is always bad and he has lots of videos like this, but this is the closest call he's had so far. This submitter was on his way home in his 10-day-old Nissan at 4 a.m. after working a 20-hour shift. What follows is something he doesn't remember happening. He woke up after feeling and hearing an impact, but he had fallen asleep before it occurred. His car hit a wall at 35 miles per hour. Thankfully, no other drivers were on the road at the time. His insurance provider covered the cost of repairs, which worked out to about 9,000 US dollars. He left this message for our viewers. Check your readiness before driving. Addison was waiting to exit a highway when the driver of the work van ahead of her rear-ended a pickup truck. Fortunately, the collision seems pretty mild, so it's likely nobody was injured, but I bet that was a bad day for the driver of the van. Maddie was headed to Sonic with her husband and daughter Mika when she pulled up to a red light. Stopping well behind the stop bar, she was shocked when a turning driver cut the corner and nearly hit her Hyundai Santa Fe. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. Thankfully, Maddie's honking got the other driver's attention and he swerved around her at the last moment, avoiding a collision by inches. Maddie told us that she was almost rear-ended 10 minutes later and that she might be done with driving for a while. John was on his way home when he watched a pickup driver fail to yield to oncoming traffic and get T-boned by a sedan. Oh. John stopped and made sure everyone was okay, then gave a copy of his dashcam video to the responding police. Thankfully, there were no injuries. Maddie sent us this video from when his girlfriend was driving his car and had trouble finding a parking space. When she got out to talk to someone and find out if she could park in their space after they left, she accidentally put the car in reverse instead of park. Thankfully, she'd set the parking brake so the car didn't roll very fast. She was able to get inside and hit the brakes before it backed into anything. Maddie told us he's proud of her for keeping her cool and stopping the car just in time. It seems like Jonathan keeps encountering drivers who don't want to wait for their turn. He was headed home after another graveyard shift when a rather large vehicle ran a red light right in front of him. 
good thing Jonathan was paying attention, the vehicle that ran a red light was a city bus. Jonathan turned and followed it so he could report the driver to the city. When he asked the driver if he realized he'd run a red light, he just ignored Jonathan and refused to respond. Abdul was headed to work in rush hour traffic when the driver behind him failed to notice that traffic had come to a complete stop. Thankfully, nobody was injured, but repairing Abdul's car cost about 1,200 US dollars. See that silver car ahead of Bruno? There's a red car in front of it, and it's pulling a trailer. As we'll see, the hitch wasn't locked, and the trailer began rolling away after the red car went over a speed bump. Thankfully, the trailer didn't get very far or hit anything before the driver caught up to it and got it safely out of the road. I guess the trailer just didn't feel very attached to the car. 